Uncle Morty used to take me to the movies. He's a nickel kid. Cheer up and go. And though I was only seven, I discovered heaven at the RKO. Blue lights, pink lights, stars in the ceiling, an organ as big as a Buick, and a screen as big as the Great Wall of China, red rocks, gold stairs, porcelain angels, and everything bigger and better and larger than life. See, at first, I was strictly a Western man. But then, one Saturday afternoon, I saw Defender of the Crown, Warner Brothers, 1941, Technicolor, starring Alan Swan. Daring, loyal, kind but courageous, a hero as big as a Buick, with a cape, a sword, and a bevy of maidens, he was movies. Me, I was seven, and gee, he was bigger and better and larger than life. See, life wasn't capes and flashing swords and parapets. Life wasn't Alan Swan or Robin Hood. Life was your father going out for cigarettes and deciding he was going out for good. He's a nickel kid. Cheer up and go. Swan is playing at the RKO. Sure, it was possible. See, if he met my mom in 34 and they had a fling at his cabana at the Chateau Marmont, then there's every reason to believe that there's a remote possibility that the man who went out for the Chesterfields wasn't really my father at all. I wasn't some stupid kid whose father got tired of him and walked out. I was the bastard son of Alan Daring, loyal, kind but courageous, a hero as big as I needed in the technicolor embrace of a maiden swan, my hero and possible father. He stood and he fought and he never ran. Oh no. He was bigger and better and larger than life and he lived